A fire at Sprucewood, Inc. in Windsor, which triggered a state of emergency in the city, is now under investigation by the Ontario Fire Marshal. We're talking about up to 125,000 pounds of plastic, 75% of which was burning, 25% of which was yet to burn, right? So our crews got on top of this thing and they've done a phenomenal job. Uh, obviously, the coordination with the different agencies, uh, the mutual aid from our surrounding uh, municipalities, even the city of Detroit fire call today and offer their assistance. Uh, the MOE was on site in the EOC, uh, so uh, the, the level of cooperation I think helped. Because of the fuel load and the start, head start it got on us, we decided to go defensive and attempt to stop it from spreading to some of the other material. But the fire was very hot. You saw the heavy, thick black smoke coming up from the scene and spreading across the city. Because of the toxic fumes pouring from the blaze, residents were encouraged to shut their windows and stay indoors. Shelter was even being offered at South Windsor Arena and the Vollmer Centre in LaSalle, although it appears many stayed in their own homes. As for the potential for toxic runoff water... In a fire of this nature, the, the recommendation by Canutech is to let the fire burn. Uh, so the areas that are the that are material that's on fire, we're actually letting it burn. The water that we're applying is to the materials that aren't burning, so we don't have uh, what we would consider, uh, consider uh, significant runoff in terms of being mixed with chemicals. Again, the water is being uh, put on the areas that are not burning and to try uh, and avoid that fire from spreading. No one was injured in the fire except for one firefighter who was taken to hospital for heat exhaustion. He's since been released. Mike Blasfeld, BlackburnNews.com. Thank you.